Hi, this is Lou from Foothills Properties in Tucson. Today I'm down in Rita Ranch, uh, which is near Houghton or Houghton, and I-10, and I'm in a subdivision there called uh, Rancho Antigua. I'm uh, on a street called Banbridge, and I'm looking at the house that's uh, available for rent. It's on a corner. I'm going to pan. You can see the street going that way. Uh, this is Banbridge, and we'll turn around, and we'll walk up to the house. And because of where we are in the middle of the street, I'll wait until I'm closer, and you can pick it up again. Okay, we're in front of the garage. You can see it. It's in the shadows. We're getting some shadow there. But we'll turn a little bit, and we'll look at the front door, and we'll walk up closer to the front door so that you can see the front of the house here. As you can see, there's a porch, a small porch overhang. There is a wrought iron screen door, which is, as I always say, is great for leaving the main door open and having the breeze come through the house when it's cool and breezy. So we're now in the front of the house inside. I'll turn on the studio light, which will give us a little bit of highlights. You're learning my secrets. But it is plenty light in here. And you can see that it's a pitch roof, so it's high ceilings, even as it slopes down to the front. We'll walk over into the center and more to the right side of the great room, the living room. That is the hallway to the guest bedrooms and hall bath in the garage. Then we see the kitchen, a little bit of the kitchen, the dining room area or breakfast nook area, however you choose to use it. We'll walk up, take a look into the kitchen. Uh, even though it's open, there's lots of pantry space and closet and drawer and cupboard space the two-door refrigerator, the smooth top stove, and microwave above, a double sink, uh, pull-out sprayer. We're now looking at the family room. I'll walk in, turn, you can see the fireplace and the light above the fireplace and illuminating the uh, niche there above for art or maybe just an illuminated niche. That's the master, but before we go to the master, I'll step outside. The door's open from when I did the photography. You can see the breeze is moving the plants. It's very cool under here. Um, it's a nice day. It's in the low 90s today. And we're in, in the end of June, the first part of July, headed into July tomorrow, but it's very cool and breezy today. Skies have a few high clouds. You know, I haven't given a weather report in quite a while, but you get one now. We'll back up a little bit so you can see the, the yard. There's a pad could put some chaise loungers or an umbrella table there or just leave it alone Go back inside I'll pull the door behind me ceiling fans here we'll walk over we'll look at the fireplace again in the room as we come out of the master we're looking into the master ceiling fan in the master good space we'll walk into the bathroom we have the tub shower here is the double sink with mirrors above the commode is behind the door so it's it's in its own area Let's see if we can open this and get a look into the tub. It's a garden, st a garden style tub, uh, shower on a wand, 
shower head on a wand above so it can work as a stationary or fixed as you might call it as well as a movable wand head looking back across the master bedroom double shell double shelved and double uh, hanging on one side and single hanging on the other look at the family room again again or this could be a dining room and that could be a breakfast nook however you choose to use it strictly up to your choice get another look at the at the kitchen we'll walk down the hall into the guest bedrooms first we'll stop at the hall bath tub and shower single sink lots of counter space uh, this is the furnace This is the guest closet, the hall closet, the closet for the front door, however you care to use it. That is a linen closet. As long as we're here, we'll take a look at it. This is the, we'll call it the third of the guest bedrooms or the fourth bedroom. Wall closet. Again, ceiling fan. Here is the third, the second of the guest bedrooms. Again, just for identification. And the third of the four bedrooms. Again, a wall closet. There is the laundry area. It's sort of a niche and alcove, sort of a room. We'll go into the garage. We'll walk across and then turn so you can see the garage as a whole. Hot water tank is in the garage for ease of service. The door to the backyard through the garage so you don't have to walk through the house if you wanted to carry something in and out or take the the uh, trash containers out. This is the first of the guest bedrooms. Again, I call it the first because it's the closest to the living room, dining room area, kitchen, etc. Or the second of the four bedrooms. And there again is a wall closet. Another look at the living room. We'll walk up and over to the entry to the kitchen and take a look towards the back of the house again. We'll walk out front, take a look at the street scene. And I thank you for taking the tour and wish you a great, great, great Tucson day and a great day wherever you are. Thank you.